Hi everyone, welcome to SSR classes. Today, representing root 30 on number line. So, in this video, how to represent root 30 on number line? So, let's start. First of all, drawing the number line. So, first, drawing a line of any length and mark the ends with arrows and taking here the starting number 0. Next, taking any length by compass and mark the lines by this way and this length is called unit length or one unit length so first of all marking the line by using compass by this way okay so this is one two three four five six and so on and this side minus one minus two and so on okay now roughly discussing the calculation okay so first we have to represent root 29 then we can represent root 30 okay so first root 29 if there is a right angle triangle abc with base 5 and height 2 unit then what is hypotenuse so hypotenuse equal to by pythagoras theorem root over base square plus height square so this is 2 square plus 5 square so this is 4 plus 25 so this is root 29 unit okay so this concept apply between 0 to 5 first okay so this is o point and this is a point now first having to construct a 90 degree angle on the point a so taking any length by compass and drawing an arc by this way with same length and putting the compass here and cut here with same length and drawing arc here with same length and put in the compass here and cut here okay now joining this okay so now taking two unit length by compass and put in the compass here and cut here so this is b point and this is two unit length next joining o and b okay so from this we can say that o b equal to root 29 29 unit okay next we have to represent root 30 so roughly if there is a right angle triangle pqr with base uh, root 29 and height 1 unit then what is hypotenuse so by pythagoras theorem hypotenuse pq equal to root over base square plus height square so 1 square plus root 29 whole square so this is 1 plus root 29 so this is root 30 unit okay so now this concept will be applied between this okay so first we have to construct a 90 degree angle or a perpendicular line on the point b so first drawing a 90 degree angle on the point b by using compass okay now joining this to get the perpendicular line okay now taking a length between any two number by compass and putting the compass here and cut here okay so this is c point and this is one unit length now joining o and c and from this we can say that o c equal to root 30 now taking the length between o and c by compass and drawing an arc which made the number line at a point p and this is the representation of root 30 on number line okay therefore distance oc and op are equal so equal to root 30 unit that's all thanks for watching please subscribe like and comment on my video thanks for